Hi everybody, Scott Lear here at B Chord. We are sitting right outside of Nashville in Mount Juliet with Marty of Marty Macmillan Guitars. How are you doing, sir? Doing well, how are you? I'm doing great, doing great. So uh, we are sitting here in your beautiful shop. We've got some awesome guitars sitting behind us. Um, tell us a little bit about how you got into this and what, what made you want to start going on the route of making guitars? Yeah, man, I uh, started taking guitar lessons when I was like nine, uh, super into it. Parents started taking me a couple times a week, kind of dropped out of sports. And then uh, the owner of the music shop, Mike Grass at the Music Man in Brighton, Michigan, oh, okay. uh, finally hired me after pestering him for years. <laughs> and then he started showing me just, you know, how to wrench on guitars a little bit, and I really was into it. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. So, you know, it, how long, and, and we all know this as, oh, you walk in a store, you call somebody, and hey, I want a guitar, I want this. How long of a process is it actually when you do that from start to finish? Uh, it's quite a process, um, and I do them in batches because when you're setting up, all the jigs and fixtures or painting. You want to run more than one through. But it's uh, about 125 hours of I'm touching wow. that particular guitar, not glue drying or lacquer curing. It's I'm touching it. Right. So right. it's uh, it's pretty in-depth. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. Just sitting thinking about that. That's a lot of hours yeah. going into one instrument. It is. It's a labor of <laughs> love for sure. <laughs> so um, do you also hear, do you do guitar repair if somebody's looking to get anything fixed? I, I do. I don't uh, I don't advertise a whole lot of guitar repairs. Uh, I'm being in Nashville, there's, there's so many pickers that uh, I don't know if I get anything else done. <laughs> uh, so I, I've done guitar repairs for years for multiple music stores, you know, in different cities across the U.S. Uh, these days I'm focusing more on just acoustic guitar building, but I do. I mean, if you need a refret or neck reset or things like that, gotcha. uh, I particularly like doing old restorations. That's okay. something that's a lot of fun. Something where like, you know, you'll get it back like next year. Sure, you know? sure. I, I totally understand. And they're okay with that too. Yeah, like, yeah, yes, yeah. take care mm -hmm. of my baby. Absolutely. That's, uh, you know, like totally taking a guitar apart and putting okay. it back together. Yep. So um, who are some of the artists that you've, uh, and performers that you've done some guitars for? Yeah, no, I've got a, I've got a great crew of guys that are out, uh, you know, being Macmillan guitar ambassadors, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Uh, Steve Everett is a good friend of mine. Uh, it's got a nice career going. Uh, Paul Fow, who was on... Uh, one of the seasons of The Voice, I forget which one. Okay. Um, my buddy Tom Maxwell is out uh, with Maggie Rose playing a Magdalene Tom guitar. Well, you know, yeah. him a hat. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the Morrison Brothers, another okay. uh, DC band. Um, I know I'm leaving some people out and I apologize, but uh, just a bunch of great guys. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Okay, so you, you put all of this heart and soul and love into these guitars and, and you make so many for different people. Has there ever been a time when you were making one that you said, you know what, I got to keep this. This is mine. Uh, I, I got my first Macmillan guitar about a year and a half ago. It's okay. actually uh, this one right here, a little parlor guitar okay. with the uh, Adirondack top. and. Uh, yes. Yes. Show it off. Uh, Hunter and Rosewood back and sides <laughs> with a, a maple wedge. And uh, it was just really my style. I got That's done gorgeous. with it, hit a couple chords, and, and then hit, <laughs> hit it and didn't put it on the website. <laughs> it's like it's done. It's yeah, mine. That one's mine. mine. <laughs> so um, how, how should somebody, you know, letting everybody know and mm -hmm. pushing the name out there, how should somebody get in touch with you? What's the best way? Uh, we're in all the usual spots online. So uh, you can go to MacmillanGuitars.com. Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I'm not very good at Twitter, but I'm on there. Uh, and then through my website, there's a, you know, a little questionnaire box where anybody can just send inquiries. And then uh, just pick up the phone and call me is the best way. We can uh, really start talking about what type of guitar it is you're looking for. Uh, pretty much everything I do is custom. So down okay. to the last detail, uh, you can really pick out everything that you want. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Um, coolest venue you've ever seen one of your guitars be played? Uh, I saw John Wiley from the band Melodyne. Okay. Uh, he was playing uh, actually my personal guitar. I loaned it to him when he was at the Grand Ole Opry. Wow. Yeah, it was. Now there's was, a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very cool. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, he got us a couple tickets so me and Bethany, my girl, could go uh, check it out and watch and it was a lot of fun. That's so cool. So I know, you know, you being a guitar guy, I've, I've heard some stories that you're a great picker as well. Uh, do you get around and play at all outside in the uh, area? I do, not not too much in Nashville. Uh, one of the artists that I forgot to mention, sorry Nate, is uh, Nate Frederick uh, okay. and I, I get out and play with him a little bit. A uh, little bit in Nashville, a little bit on the road, uh, do some writing with him. Uh, I find I get a little too busy in here to do too much playing. Every yeah. time it starts taking off, I have to kind of hit the brakes and get, <laughs> get back to work, you know? Somebody's got to let everybody else do the playing, yeah, not you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I've always loved playing. I've done it professionally, you know, and uh, I always want to pick up a guitar and play. Yeah, but, that's uh, great. 
been focusing on this mainly the past few years. Okay. So you, you've got to have one. There's got to be a favorite that you have as well, guitar-wise. Uh, yeah. I mean, for me, my favorite and bestseller, you know, it brings in the most money, uh, would probably be my, my uh, Vintage Series, which oh, is okay. this one here in the in the middle. Gotcha. Uh, it's a Adirondack red spruce top, mahogany back and sides, uh, ebony fingerboard and bridge. Uh, it just has that kind of vintage look to it. Uh, I apply this amber toner to the lacquer and... Uh, it's just really been a, a great guitar for me that, that really has been uh, uh, well loved and received by a lot of people. So, That's awesome. Yeah. That is great. So um, I'll ask you a question, and usually it's an artist driven question that I do, but I think you would fall in this very, very well. So I ask a big B chord signature question of every single person I talk to. You're stranded on an island, you can take one guitar with you. What guitar is it going to be and why? Oh boy. Uh, but see, for you, this might not work. If you had material, you can make whatever you wanted, right? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 can I be stranded on a, an island in like South America? There you, go, with, right. you know, good, good trees around. <laughs> exactly. Cut them down. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I would probably take a dreadnought just because okay. I feel that uh, if you're going to only have one guitar, you want it to be a full workhorse, you know? Sure, sure. I get that. Yeah. Totally get that. So I'll give you a platform here. Uh, want to let everybody know, follow you at whatever. It's all yours. Yeah, it's uh, MacmillanGuitars.com, Macmillan Guitars on Facebook. And uh, if you want to send me an email, MacmillanGuitars at gmail.com. Or give me a call at 517-672-6016. Awesome. And we'll tag everything at the end of it as well. But everybody, thank you so much, Marty. Thank you. We really, really Thanks, appreciate Scott. it. Uh, give us a follow at bcord615 on the web at www.bcord.net. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.